three out of balance resistive loads connected, connected across a three phase four wire system. So if we measure the resistance of each of the loads, we've got red phase resistance at 54.2 ohms. 54.2 ohms. <laughs> White phase resistance at 101.8 ohms. Blue phase resistance at 206.9 ohms. So from there you can calculate what the current should be and from there calculate what the neutral current will be. So now we're going to hook it up and see what it actually is. We assume a 230 volt supply. Well now, we do the now we'll do the measurement and see what we actually get. Red phase current. Four point two amps. White phase current, two point one amps. Blue phase current, zero point nine amps. Neutral current, two point five amps. Voltages. Neutral to red phase voltage. Red to neutral. Two three three. Neutral to white. Two three four. Neutral to blue. Two thirty seven. Red to white. 407, red to blue, 415, white to blue, 417. Okay. Using the information that we gained from the experiment, we'll now draw a result from the stuff we recorded. So we need to make a star drawing and mark it out, the phases 120 degrees apart. So our red current was 4.2 amps. White. 2.1 amps. So all I've drawn so far is the information that we gathered from the meters. So to solve the individual components, the first two I'll solve will be this one and this one. So I have to take the same magnitude in the same direction along here. So I'm just going to transfer this line across to here. Thank you. 
right? Reguns come up, limits come across. The result of those is solve those two vectors where they meet. It's there. So effectively I've used up that one and that one and I've got that answer. That leaves me with this one and this one to solve. So I need to take this answer and put it up here. Bring this one down to here, and where they cross, that will give us the neutral part. Black one down, I'm going to take the white face up to there now. Cross. Where they cross is a neutral current. And that should be drawn in black. And what I'm measuring here is 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.7 amps. Our calculation so 2.5, what we've drawn is 2.7. Now, the variation can come about because it's not exactly 400 volts, it's not exactly 230 volts. But the measurement here we came up with is 2.7 amps, and the reality was 2.5, so only talking 200 milliamps anyway. Close enough. Cool. Now we're left with the final part of this is to measure the, the deviation from any of the phases. The nearest phase we've got here, the neutral, the nearest phase is the red, so we can measure how far out that is. Protractor. So from the red voltage, it's 20 degrees. So from there, You could say the neutral current is lagging the red voltage by 20 degrees and 2.7 amps. Conclusion. The conclusion has to be there is some variation between what we 
found by measurement, by graphical means, and some variations compared to what we measured. The reason for that variation could be, it's only 200 milliamps, the reason for that variations could be the voltage is not stable. 400 volts, 230 volts, it's not fixed, it's not stable, it varies, and that will, vision, that will vary the current. Uh, other possible variations are, as because they resist the flows and they're hooked up, they heat up. And as they heat up, the resistance changes, and as the resistance changes, the current changes. So the time it took to take the measurements could make a huge bearing on the current that they draw. That's all the ones that I can think of for now.